I'm just at the top of the hill there. This is Sandworth Lane I'm standing on, coming from the west, just before you reach the railway bridge. I mean, just before you turn left down here, Sandworth Lane. Concealed on the left as you come along here is this entrance to Sandworth Lake. You can drive past it without even noticing it. And there is a combination lock on the gate. And you have to be a member to find out what it is. Anyway, let's go ahead and have a look at it. So I've just come through the gate. And there is Sandworth Lake. And attached to this decrepit, absolutely decrepit notice board. No keeplets are allowed. That needs destroying <laughs> a mess. Well, I'm here at Sandworth Lake and uh, I'll make my way clockwise round the lake. So this is the first peg I've come to. An easy walk from the car. I'm bored there if you're disabled in a wheelchair. You don't fall in. It's not very big. And from the entrance you can drive along. How far you can drive along, we'll find out. Park behind here. That's a nice view, peaceful place, if you don't mind the trains. A couple of pegs close together. So you just come down in the car and there's a, an area here where you can park your car. There's a sign here which says net dip. I don't see any sign of a net dip anywhere. Ah, well, down at the bottom of the lake, come to a bucket or a bin which says dip. There's nothing in it. <laughs> Looking at the bottom of the lake, looking right across. Well, I'm reliably informed there are some big, big calf in here. But they are really hard to catch. There's also a tench, bream, Small rud, tiny rud, in fact, uh, roach, and I suspect there'll be decent sized pike in here as well. And on its day, it can produce some lovely fish, but you do have to put the hours in. And there are some night fishing permits but uh, obviously restricted and uh, at the moment uh, I assume there's a waiting list. 
We had some tremendous rain overnight. Big thunderstorms. I assume they had them down here because the, there seems to be a bit more water in the lake than, than there has been recently. Because it's up over the top of this peg. You can see that one or two of the pegs are in a decrepit state and need, uh, need renewing. I also noticed that on one side of the lake there is an otterproof fence, but uh, on this side there isn't. Seems to defeat the object of the exercise, but I'm assuming that uh, it's all a question of cost, like all of these things. And then you can see a nice new peg. So gradually the, uh, the more decrepit ones, the dangerous ones, well, the, the more dangerous ones have in fact got tape across to stop you going on them. Very wise. <whistles> Chop over there for Brian. Just set it up. Yeah, even some of the pegs, which look as if they haven't been here for very long, obviously weak in places. Need a little bit of TLC. Ah, I just come around the corner here and uh, just finish my walk round, and there is a net dip. There's quite a heavy lid on it, I thought. <laughs> it's not hinged either. I'll just have one last look across Sandwich Lake before I leave. That's been a, a considerable amount of work done here, but there's, uh, there seems to be a fair amount still left to do. All expense. And of course, finding the people to do it. Anyway, from Sunbath Lake, take care. I'll see you again. Bye bye.